15 years, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. What is, where is your, where are your heads right now when it comes to your, your family of crew, your family of cast that you built over the year, and the fandom that's been next to us and supported you guys, supported me, supported all of us for 15 years? Where are your heads at, honestly? I don't mean your heads like, oh, uh, the show's going, it's sad. Like, yeah. internally, your lives will change now mm. yeah. in a way that they've been different for the first time in 15 years. To be what? fair, this changed our lives first. several times. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and our lives will, will have, have not and will never be the same. Um, m- kind of my mental state right now is pretty much the same as it generally is with the beginning of the season, which is starting out of a marathon. Back on the I got to pace myself and I got to get the work done. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier. It's like, because it is the last season, yeah, I know that on the outside, but uh, if, I, I, for me, I'm kind of trying to block the whatever emotional rabbit hole that right. might take me down and just stay focused on uh, doing the best job that I can, do what I continue to do, that, that, what I've, that the, the job that it's got me here after 14 years, um, and, uh, and I'll let all that emotional and let all that rabbit hole find me come holidays later yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, for me I, it's hard to think about right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, i didn't get emotional yeah. watching you guys man talk about i it, man. Uh, yeah um i i feel like I, I, somebody asked me a question one time like what's going to be like to say bye to sam winchester and my honest answer was like i'm i can't say bye to them like he's right. going to be a part of me forever and i met some of my dear friends that will continue to see each other all the time yeah. and you know so um, as far as the show ending, I don't know yet. And I don't know if that's like a protective defensive mechanism that, like, I certainly get a little teary. Like, Comic Con was a weird experience. Yeah, I saw you guys up there. That was difficult. <laughs> that was really difficult. Um, and then it's sort of like, and you know, I mean, we've known each other for well over 10 years. It's sort of like, okay, got it. <clears throat> all right, back on the clock. Let's go. Like, so right. R- right now it's sort of like that, all right, back on the clock. Uh, you know, game on. You know, it's like right. game off. <laughs> this is, uh, car's gone. Game on. All right, all right. So I don't yeah, ask me in April, I guess. Did the did the as you guys have? I know you're just finishing two, or are you still in two right now? We're in halfway through two, yeah. or the second episode, I yeah. should say, of shooting. Yep. Now, did the first one you directed the first one that you guys shot this season? Correct. Did it feel for you as a director, actor, you as an actor, when you got to the end of it, did it feel like, oh, that was the last time of. You know, does it the feel first like the last time? Like, I know Misha joked that it's the last of everything. Yeah. But does it feel like inside, like, that's going to be the last time I feel what it is to come back after a hiatus and crack it open again and, and mm-hmm. do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a bit of that the first day, um, kind of walking back on set, seeing all those familiar faces, smelling those familiar smells, yeah. walking into my trailer, walking onto the sound stage, <laughs> walking up to the production office, seeing everybody that, you know, and it's 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 kind of back to work, but there was that kind of underlying uh, feeling of, of this is this is the last time that this is going to happen. Yeah. Um, and oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a weighty feeling. I mean, you think about how long we've been doing this, and it's like, you know, when we come back, usually when we come back, there's, there's just like, okay, it's just back, back to business as usual, which... We'll be doing this again next year. We'll be doing this again in the year after that. And it's been like that for a long, long time. So to come back and know that this is the final first day, uh, it, it, it certainly had some weight to it. This is my last first day. Yeah. It, it's so weird for me as an outsider, semi-inside, but like I, yeah. I've, I've known you guys and I've watched you guys. And now, because I get to the blessing of directing you fellas this year. I can't year. wait, man. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, I we bet got a little you supernatural you director can't. right here. We got a little something for you. Don't you worry about um, it now. You are, like, you are in deep I know. I'm in <laughs> deep I'm, doo-doo. I know. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Is there... I talked to Misha about the cars. He says, there's people want the cars. I get that, of course. Sure. Who doesn't want that Impala? Um, have you liberated anything else? I'm, I'm sure you have. I almost don't even want to look at you guys when I ask this question. <laughs> Souvenirs, things that have met. There's so yeah. many cool props from this show. So yeah, much yeah. cool wardrobe. Do you have plans on liberating a thing that you must have to take home from whether it be first season or the 15th season or what? I have a few things that I've, that I've gone with. There are a few things. Do you work for Warner Brothers? There are a few things that have gone missing. No, but she does. My, <laughs> um, Earmuffs. I I, uh, I take my uh, my chair back 
every year, and I think this one's going to be a pretty special one to take, you know. Which uh, makes production, means that production has to buy him a new one every year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like 40 bucks. Um, I'll write a check if you need. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like, I, I, I take my chair backs. <sighs> Man, you know, I'm, I, I have like little knickknacks from sets we were going to burn down. Like when uh, Bobby Singer's house burned down, I grabbed like a little owl, uh, you know, uh, bookend and st- like I just random uh, a flask from a scene. Yeah, the set deck um, department's going to go through a few of these sets and look around <laughs> and be like, "Where did the where did everything uh-huh. go?" Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, it, you know, without without getting in specific, specifics and mm-hmm. and and you know, there are certainly little things that that have an emotional that we have emotional ties to. You know, I, I, whether it's whether it's a clock that's been sitting on a desk for so long, whether it's a lamp, whether it's a, a you know, a, a vinyl record that's been sitting on the top of Dean's vinyl stack in his room for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, I might just take uh, our props girl, Maisie. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really like stage two. It's always been my favorite. It's a little bit bigger. So you just th- throw it in the back of the truck, right? No, I mean, you, you, you need a flatbed. Right. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a big flat it, deck. It's a little bit bigger, so... Break it apart. Folds, You've been there. It falls down. <laughs> sure. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like origami. It's, it's a tilt-up kind of, construction. Yeah. It'll be fine. You got it. Don't worry. They won't even notice it's gone, which yeah. is the great thing. Um, thinking back to... This is... I'm sure you guys have been asked to think back on the season so often, but I'm going to take this moment for myself, thinking back to the episodes I've done with you guys. Yeah. Very few. We've done three episodes. The last one we remember, obviously, we sat in a car and, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, for a million pages, and then it was that's over. Right. But I the, feel like we've done the, 30 episodes. I know, I because know. we see each other it's so been three, often. Though, but that's right? great. I've never even acted in a scene with Misha we just discovered in the last thing. Like, we've never, ever been in a scene on Supernatural. <laughs> together <laughs> we've created many of scenes together. missing yeah. out on so much chemistry Jeez. though yeah. um what what do you remember anything from working with me either one of you by any chance i knew i felt you know when i, I, I first came on as john and then there was the michael bit yeah. where we were in the house and mm-hmm. all that stuff later i'm gonna be really out. honest the first time we ever met was in we call it the 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 fishbowl mm-hmm. and we were reading the script and right. i think and you you're a ripped guy <laughs> And well, you. um, you're coming in. We were doing the script reading with everybody from down south, and I, you had shaved arms. I don't know if you still shave your arms. Yeah. <laughs> and I think afterwards, the, the 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 we finished reading the script, and I was like, dude. The guy shaves his arm. He must be a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> That's I remember, my honest to god first impression of you. Do you want to know something? I remember. Uh, Jensen, at one of the first times we were at a convention together, this was early on, shortly yeah, after yeah, yeah. I, shortly after I did the episode, and he came up to me and he went, hey. I want to see these things all hairy next time I see you, all right? <laughs> Grab my arm. Not a word of a lie. We walked out and I was like, he shaves his arms. Or, I'm going to need these things to grow out a little bit before we have you back on the show. Listen, and I think he had an armband. He had an armband. And I was like, listen, he's jacked. He doesn't need to wear an armband and shave his arms to let us know he's jacked. Like, did he's I really ripped. have an armband on? I think you did. You had, you had like, a, like a wristband of sorts. Listen, we all you make mistakes. You weren't working out either. We all make mistakes. Oh, and then as we got to know each other, I was like, is that <laughs> Ankle weights yeah. of yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're like, a, like you were doing bar dips, so there was a 45-pound plate. Uh, no. And then as we obviously got to know each other, uh, it was a real joy for me for it to kind of come full circle and do the scene where you're John Winchester right. again, and where because now I know you as a father, as a man, as a husband, as a friend after right. 12 years, 13 years, however long it had been. Yeah. Um, and there's something great, and you know the feeling as well, like when you trust who you're across from, who, whoever it is, whatever the situation, whether it's acting in a scene or if you're a doctor and you trust sure. your or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, or vice versa. So it was really cool to play in that scene and to know like you were going to push me because you knew me and you knew what I was capable of and vice versa. I was going to push you because I know you and I know right. what you're capable of. So that was a funny full circle from like he's wearing an armband and shaves his arms. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the same Cohen though. <laughs> same one. Exactly, like, exactly. And it's the one we love. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um to finish up what a message to the fans, and I don't mean a message, thank you fans. Give them a way to cope. Tell, tell, mm. uh, I know you guys are going to crush this season. I know the, the product that you turn out, it's been great since season one, which I just binge watched for the first time. And I have to applaud you guys really? for bringing it from the pilot. And I'm not saying that as, ma- I, like, I'm saying that as a guy who's Killer. 
dissecting his directing skills and watching what you guys did from day one. Beautiful. What can you tell the fans? What, awesome. what's oh. you, what, what can you say to help them deal with not having this in their life every day? Anymore, yeah. You know? Well, I mean, this is the great thing about On Demand is they can have it in their <laughs> life every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's to true. go back and just watch their favorite seasons. Um, I will say that, uh, you know, we we obviously made this decision with with very heavy hearts and 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 it was it wasn't a difficult a it wasn't a difficult thing to 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 come to the to realization of and um, it was a difficult thing it yes it it was very hard um and it will be hard and but at the same time i, I feel like we never wanted to stick around uh if if the product started to wane Right. If if we weren't able to bring it every day, yeah. if uh, if if the car started to run out of gas, we didn't want to be. We we wanted to get out before that. Yeah, and we wanted not to leave to say the party while it was still going. And not to say that it is, and not to say that that we are running out of gas, and not to say that we're, you know, we're tired of it. But I think we're we've gotten to a point where where we feel really really solid about where we are. But we feel like we still have tons of energy, mm-hmm. tons of passion, and tons of love enough for the show to go out with a bang. And I think that I would rather hang my hat on that than to hang my hat on some kind of like fizzled yeah. out show. <clears throat> yeah, well this said. is this is uh, um, we wanted to go out while the party was at its peak. You know, we wanted to leave the party. We want didn't want to be the last people going like, well, who can fill my drink up? <laughs> right. uh, you're welcome to leave. Like, oh, got it. That um, happens enough to Jared in real life that he <laughs> yes, knows. Yes, yes, on a daily, <laughs> twice a day basis. Um, you know, uh, the show could go for the show could go for many more years and still yeah. be a, a great show. But we want to go out leaving not only the, the, the fans wanting more, but also us wanting more. Like, I hope mm-hmm. this isn't the last time I'll play Sam Winchester. Yeah. Um, and also, going back to kind of what I touched on earlier, like, uh, when people say, how is it going to be to say bye to Supernatural or bye to Sam Winchester, I'm never going to say bye. Like, it'll always be a part of me, and hopefully for the fandom that spent 327 hours watching our 327 episodes, it'll always be a part of them, whether it's tangible or intangible, but some part of them, some part of what made them feel the way they feel or think the way they think. So for me, that's kind of where I I say, and hopefully I'm not saying farewell, hopefully I'm saying see you later, you know? (laughs) Um, But uh, this show, whether it goes 20 more years or ends this season, will always be a part of me.